show is not only just an opportunity to participate in design, I also get to be on TV and showcase it to thousands of other people. Yamina of Edmonton had that little something extra to offer. I heard you're looking for the next designer superstar. Well, look no further. When I came into this space, it had such fantastic bone structure. And we all know how important great bone structure is. Oh my gosh! Oh, she did not just say that. She's incredibly entertaining. Mm -hmm. I have to agree. I really thought that she used the space well. She did a little bit of over-dramatizing things, but she's good. I so I'm thinking you kind of like a, a Mexican hat. The only thing I could think of was something fun and festive and sombreros and fiestas and ole was what I produced. Do you think it's wise to put the lemons upside down on the tablecloth? Absolutely not but I think I did a pretty good job. I, I knew it didn't turn out so something that you'd want to put on a magazine, but I think I handled it with confidence and grace and I got a good laugh out of it. With a few drinks, I think they'll think it's all good. Okay. <laughs> Yamina has been randomly selected to kick things off. I was just looking at pieces that I would immediately be drawn to in colors and design. I thought, okay, this is what I like, and hopefully this works, and hopefully it wows them. I felt she handled it very well. She had a certain degree of confidence in the different styles that we were requesting. And she also had a very strong knowledge in terms of her groupings. Most of the design rules were there, and I thought it was pretty strong, actually. You mean it? Time's up. Oh my goodness. Wow, take a breath. With the time constraints, it was as good as it was going to get. Had I had a little bit more time, there was definitely pieces I would want to switch. I would have gone back to the traditional one, got rid of the books, and went back to the original plate that I had at the beginning. You're oh. running around like a crazy woman. <laughs> oh my god, the sweat is pouring off me again today. I almost had a bitch fit once or twice because I couldn't get nobody to help me and answer my questions. And here I was, you know, on a tight time frame. Here you go, mister. Here you Let's go. I wasn't so much worried about getting there on time because I had awesome help. But when I was at the wood cutting department, then I started to really worry because I'm like, everybody wants to get their wood cut. There was one person working at the back doing the cuts at Rona, and of course, we all needed cuts. I got this one. You mean it totally dominated the situation, was not allowing the poor guy to get to anybody else. Not only was he not doing what he was supposed to do, but he's going around doing her shopping. It started to drive me crazy. It's not fair. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to the other contestants. When one specific contestant can dominate every single I situation. I wanted to do something more retro, more funky, more cutting edge, and kind of like my condo. It's like a modern type of condo and a little bit of eclecticness in it. And so I wanted to kind of give a bit of Yamina. And that's where my inspiration was drawn from, the letter Y. There we go. They're going to want to put me on Canada's First handyman. <laughs> Screwing and gluing pieces onto, you know, four by four posts that's, you know, pressure treated wood through particle board. I was really taken aback. Have you ever built anything? No. <laughs> I thought it would be a little bit more edgier and funkier to have one arm shorter and one arm longer. And if the pole stood here, but the base extended over to the side, and that's where the arm was. And I thought it was a really cool balance. And really I was like, wow, I can't even believe I have this up. I'm like, and it doesn't look so bad. I was pleased. Yamina was, <laughs> of course, the last contestant to go. Today, I was like, that's it. I don't care. They like it, if they don't, I'm just gonna go in there and speak the way I wanna speak and just go with it. So by now you probably know I love design, but let me tell you, when I go to my friend's house, they are complete design catastrophes. I look at their spaces and I think, oh, I wish they weren't my friends so I could tell them how to fix it. But when I was little, I had this time when my mom came into my space and she did this like army catastrophe. She put 
green, gold, white, and she this, did this army fatigue, and I was like, oh my gosh, I came home devastated, and I was like, what were you thinking? I got so mad, I made her feel so bad and so sad. The next day, when I came home, my room was completely painted white. Let me tell you though, from now on, I never, ever, ever say anything to the people that I love the most, because it's really hard to find really good friends, and I hope that if you're watching this, I love you and I love all your spaces. Uh, you still have... Oh, oh, anyways, so here I am on Designer Superstar and I'm doing this amazing thing. I'm doing these crazy projects and I think I just hanged myself with my own little coat rack that Thank I did. Thank you, Yamina. That's pretty funny. <laughs> it's hard to find good friends. <laughs> Superstar. I was excited because where I'm from, we don't have stores that are so large and so much selection. I'm doing a chair. I have a certain knack of getting great help. I met a fabulous lady, Paula. She took me through the store, and there was this amazing damask print that I saw, and that's when my idea clicked. I knew what I wanted to do. I think this with the aubergine and the damask, and I think if we pop it with a bloody red Ooh. accent pillow. This is maybe too much. Okay, hopefully I'm on budget now. <laughs> it all came together. Surprisingly, I was the first one at the checkout counter. Oh, about 113.83? Yes, please. The minute you let it up. I was over budget. I totally was over budget. I'm like, oh, come on, a hundred bucks. You can work with me here. Do I get a discount? I need of to be course. at a hundred dollars. He's like, yeah, of course, a hundred bucks, yours. I don't like taking money. I only count it. <laughs> oh, you stole my heart. Thank you. <laughs>